In this short video, we'll show you how to install the Cintiq 24 HD or Cintiq 24 HD Touch. The Cintiq 24 comes attached to an innovative stand that is highly adjustable, allowing you to work in numerous comfortable positions. The stand is counterweighted so that the display can extend beyond the edge of the desk. As a result, the assembled stand and display weigh approximately 64 pounds. For your safety, please follow the instructions printed on the original packaging which include having assistance when removing and installing the Cintiq on your desk. The Cintiq HD stand has two points of adjustment. These two paddles on either side of the display allow the display to pivot from a vertical to horizontal position. Beneath the display, there's a handle that releases the pivot for the display arms. Lift the display slightly, then pull the lever to allow the stand arms to move up and down. This adjustment allows you to place it in a traditional easel type position bringing it close to your body, overhanging the edge of the desk, or upright in an easel-like or standard display position. The Cintiq 24 has ample screen size and color performance for most users to run as a single display, but since it's frequently being added to an existing system or laptop computer with an integrated display, we'll walk through setting it up in a dual display scenario. Our installation instructions will apply to either case. It is easiest to think of the Cintiq as two devices a display, and a pen tablet. They're just in one elegant product. To get started, make sure everything is turned off, your computer and your Cintiq. Now let's take a look at the cables. When you remove the Cintiq 24 HD from the package, it has a DVI video cable, power connection, and a USB cable exposed. At this point, you need to choose which video connection you'd like to use. By default, the digital or DVI cable is already in place. You can plug this directly into a DVI connection or into a DVI adapter such as an Apple Mini Display Port to DVI adapter for iMacs and MacBooks as well as HDMI and Mini HDMI to DVI adapters. If you choose to use the Display Port connection, the cable is already installed and can be found inside the back of the stand. Using a Display Port or Mini Display to Full Display Port adapter will provide the greatest color quality and clarity. Just remove these screws on the cable compartment to access the DisplayPort cable. Remove the cable grommet from the DVI cable, attach it to the DisplayPort cable, and then press it back into position. Since you'll no longer be using the DVI cable, coil it in place of the DisplayPort cable, then replace the compartment cover on the back of the stand. If you ever need to replace a cable, these two panels on the back of the Cintiq cover the cable connections. Connect whichever video cable you choose to the appropriate port on your computer. This connection is how the Cintiq gets its display signal from the computer. Plug the USB cable into your computer. This is how the Cintiq provides its tablet information. And plug the power connection to the power supply and then to an electrical outlet. Confirm that the light on the power brick is on. Now using the power button on the back of the right side of the display, turn the Cintiq on. Then turn on your computer. Doing it in this order ensures that the computer sees the Cintiq as an attached display during startup. If you're on a Mac, the Cintiq will most likely show the default Mac background, but nothing else. For now, this is normal. If you're on a PC, you may need to configure the Cintiq in your display settings. To do this, go to the Start menu, Control Panel, then depending on your view of the Control Panel, choose Display, or from Appearance and Personalization, choose Adjust Screen Resolution. You can also simply right-click on your desktop and select Screen Resolution. To see which monitor is which, click the Identify button. From the Display drop-down menu, choose your Cintiq and confirm its resolution is set to 1920 by 1200. If you have multiple displays, choosing Extend These Displays, then clicking Make This My Main Display, will guarantee that the taskbar and applications launch on the Cintiq by default. In this way, the pen will always work on the display that has the taskbar and that applications open on by default. This is better for basic navigation, and to access your other display, you can always use the display toggle button to navigate your entire desktop. On a Mac, go to your Apple menu, System Preferences, and choose Display. The resolution for each of your displays will show up on its own screen. Confirm that the Cintiq is set to 1920 by 1200. For multiple displays, select the Arrangement tab, which will be on the settings pane for whichever display has the menu bar. In the Arrangement window, you can arrange the displays to match where they are physically. 
Here, you can also make the Cintiq the primary display by dragging the white bar from the top of the monitor icon to the top of the other. This will ensure that the pen can always be used to access the menu bar in all applications and that applications will launch on your Cintiq. Now to get the tablet portion of the Cintiq running. To get your Cintiq working properly with your computer, you will need to make sure to install the driver. The driver CD will be in the box that came with your Cintiq. Be sure that you have your computer connected to the internet so that the driver CD can access newer versions of the driver as they become available online. Once the driver is installed, your pen should map to the Cintiq display, meaning when you get the pen close to the display, you can control the cursor under the pen. At this point, the cursor may not map right where you want it. You just need to calibrate it in the tablet properties to fit the new working position of the Cintiq. To get there, you can press the I button for information at the top of the display and select the pen properties. Or from the Apple menu, choose System Preferences, Wacom Tablet Properties. On a PC, choose Wacom Tablet from your All Programs list. Select the pen in the tool list, then make sure the Cintiq is selected in the monitor list, or the pen may map to the other display. With the Cintiq in your preferred working position, click the Calibrate button, then touch the tip of the pen to the four targets that appear in the corners of the display. If you radically change the position of the Cintiq, it can affect the relationship between the pen and the cursor. You can rapidly recalibrate it in the same way. Now you're done. At this point, it will be more about learning all the ways your new Cintiq can improve the way you live and work. Now that you have successfully installed your Cintiq, please be sure to check out the other videos on how you can configure, customize, and get the most out of your new Cintiq. For more support information, be sure to check us out at www.wacom.com.